Okay, we have tank number one. This is the main cichlid tank. Also, the ones that eat live fish, minnows, and so on. Um, let's see here. We got Nala down there. She's watching the tank. Say hi, Nala. Speak. And there's Haley. Hi. Okay. So, right here we got uh, neon yellow. And we have my bumblebee. Some general mumbas. I think those two are mating pairs. Not sure. I haven't deciphered how to tell the sexes apart, but those two are always together. I got it. Another one right back there. You guys can get a good look at them. Yeah. And then here's the purple one. That one's the boss of the tank at the moment. He's very mean and aggressive. Here's the pike. Ulao is out. Yeah, he's always hiding. He eats anything and everything that moves. It's smaller than him. Well, mostly everything. Not always. And uh, there's my red-tailed shark. He can be pretty aggressive, too. I gotta get some thick to clean their skin issue. This guy doesn't like anybody in his ship. He takes all the rocks out. As you can see, there's no rocks in the bottom. He took them all out. He spread them all across the top of this live rock in there. Why is he shaking? He uh, also took the majority of them out of there. As you can see, that's the boss. Um, so what else have we got in here? Oh, there's Black Cherry. Right there. He's my newest addition. And if you haven't seen as many aspers, he kind of looks like some of them. And that's my uh, strawberry peacock. They're all quite mean. Oh, I got an angel fish in here somewhere. Hmm. Here he is. He was in my tank because he got too big. Um, yeah, and then the Placos, I don't know where he's at. He's he's hiding somewhere. He's not over here. Let's see. Is he over here? Nope. He will come out later. Just not right now. Yeah, he's hiding. Oh, he's here, he's here. Wait. Nope. And then I got this light fixture here. The general light. This one right here has a plant bulb in it. Um, see. as you can see here, it's a plant bulb. I want to get live plants in here. But this one, I got to set up differently. Right here, this has the blue LED, white LED, and it also has a big neon light. Here, hold that, Haley. And it has a big neon light Your arms in the way. that tends to get very, very hot. And bright. And it caused a melting job right here. It melted that. So somehow I've got to hang it. There's things here on each side. There's a total of four. And if you want a fish tank, don't get fake plants because they'll just keep floating and making the tank you got to hang more rock. Got to put more rock, more rock in them. Right now, we only have one bag of rock in here, um, plus a little bit of black and pink. We're gonna add another bag. And then over here, this right here is the 40-gallon tank. 
Why don't you tell us what we got in there, Haley? Well, we got three goldfish of, like, twice the size of that small placo that was in that big tank. And... Yeah, here's the... There's the big placo stone there. We got a zebra. I really can't remember that last one. That's, that's an albino cichlid. An albino cichlid. What did that big one start out as? Well, this big one right here with the little black eyes, he started off small and very black. I call it googly eyes. And then we have this tank right here that I want to make salt water. And I haven't quite started that yet. Got the tank all cleaned out. This one, I'm going to take this out and build a tank over the next few months. Uh, anywhere from a 150 to 300 gallon tank. So I have the TV. I'm able to set on top of it and do some filtration hidden either on the side uh, or underneath with a septic tank. I'll have to see how it goes. Um, but, let's see here. I've got quite a few fish in there. As you can see, i got some... Uh, some more purple. Bungo. Bungo. Yeah. Got a few nice fish. Anybody have any ideas on what I can do with that light or uh, the fish tank? Please let me know. I plan on putting salt or uh, plan on putting uh, sand in my salt water tank, and I also plan on. Uh, I also plan on um, adding another bag of white rock to this and uh, maybe some more coral and some live moss. And if you can help us make the tank a lot better, please help us with that too. But uh, yeah, I'm open for any suggestions. Thank you.